The city is a magic sculpture we live inside. When the rain comes, the buildings remember wild other cliff tops. Eagles live on the rooftops, not as symbols, just as eagles. They remember the sky. Money is a superstition. I'm taking over sort of whole streets or whole facades of billboards, and I'm using the billboards in multiple. It's amazing actually, because it's letting me push something graphically that I haven't really pushed before. I see the city in a sort of slightly mystical way, you know, and I want in my work to sort of like think of the city as a magical place. Cities make this kind of anarchic life possible, and it's the kind of life that isn't in the master plan of cities or isn't in the town plan of cities, but the romance of neighbourhoods, like the atmosphere you get, then you get these magical spaces that I find really beautiful. I'll often use like a very personal or emotional tone in what I write and that can be thrown into sort of sharper relief if you find it in a place where you're used to getting this very, very sort of like materialist language. Advertising language treats you like a consumer as a one-dimensional thing, so it's really nice to invade that space with a much more emotional type of speech. But I think that words can be an antidote to this kind of oversaturation of visual imagery. I want you to almost make a silence in the billboard works, and I want you to have no images, so they had a sort of visual silence. I want to see what happens with, when you change that tone of voice and the tension, or the therapy in a way that's created by having a very emotional voice in that space. And it's that reflective state of mind that I want to get to. I want to think of cities as part of the natural world, right? I think it's false in a sense to think of cities, the built environment as being not nature, because our cities are made in a really, in a really organic way, an expression of our chaos in, in, in nature, in a sense. Like the city is a magic sculpture of the grip mind, the city is a mystic dream of forest memory, walls are the last gasp of failing ideologies. That's obviously about the failing ideology of Trump. But then I really wanted to get some positivity, so you have from the new generation, a psychic love wave will explode across all countries, immigrants will be hugged in the streets, you will rise in air balloons, the future is a risk of our hearts, the future is an invisible playground. You know, I think you have to consciously build a kind of optimism for the future in, in your own mind first and then sort of share that optimism and make it into a group thing.